Two years ago, Auckland's Unitary Plan was seen as the 30-year blueprint for development of our largest city. But the government's already run out of patience, saying the council's moving too slowly and it's stepping in. Yvonne Tahana has more. Thousands of people had their say on Auckland's future. At times, debate got heated. It's exceedingly hard to retain the 1940s. For two years after the unitary plan was launched, the government set to ignore parts of it. Five years of consultation and, and uh, the input of hundreds of, of officials over a long period of time has basically been thrown in the waste paper bin. Yes, it's disappointing that something that we entered into in good faith can be overridden so easily. The government says the unitary plan doesn't go far enough in a city still desperately short of 45,000 homes. So he's setting up an urban development authority that'll control 12 to 15 specific housing developments. It'll have its own set of rules. So it's not a silver bullet, it's not going to fix all of the problems in the housing crisis, but it will enable us to build large scale whole new communities. I'm talking about 5,000 new homes, 10,000 new homes. The council cautiously supportive, even as it defends its record. What we are saying, however, is that the unitary plan overall is, is working well. It's delivering more and more houses, 28% up on last year. The first project under the new Auckland Authority will see up to 4,000 homes built on land at Unitech. Anything that speeds up the bringing on stream of affordable housing we support. But some are questioning how two different sets of rules will work. Groups like ours, groups like the Character Coalition would like to see some democratic process put back in there, at least so people can have a say about what, what happens in those areas. Questions too about the state of the relationship between the Mayor's office and government. So you'd be hard pressed to see it as anything other than an insult to the Council. Working relationship is probably the best you've ever seen between a Mayor and a minister. An urban development authority will need a law change. They aim to have it up and running by 2020. Yvonne Tahana, One News.